Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh again. Got a couple things I got going on right now. Um, I posted a couple videos not too long ago of, uh, of me using this scene of Prism 2 once in my hand, and uh, you know, uh, one video of me riding. So uh, the one with me riding seemed like the uh, seemed like the the sound just wasn't. I mean, it, you could hear it plain and good. It just didn't sound clean. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to uh, close the vents. I think that might have something to do with it right there at the mouth on the helmet. And I moved the microphone somewhere different to see if that would help. <clears throat> I've also, uh, as of last night, I put a LED headlight in the front of this motorcycle. I know you can't see it now because it's daylight, but. Uh, that LED light it shines, you know, like that bright white looks really good, but the only problem I had with was, uh, and it's just a replacement bulb, it's not a whole headlight, it's just a replacement bulb, and the problem that I had is uh, that um, it was taking out my radio, we put some uh, frequency blockers on it, and so far it seems, it's, it seems to be working pretty good. No static or nothing, so I'm kind of kind of tickled about that because I really like that headlight. But uh, other than that, test these out. Maybe try the microphone placement in my helmet. See if that helps out any. Sure is a sure is a uh, kind of a dreary day, but not too bad. Mid 60s. Seeing that motorcycle over there, that naked street bike. I think that's a to me a. a the naked sport bikes, to me, is was uh, a little bit underappreciated. Everybody I know around here, all, growing up, they always wanted them GSX-R 1000s or them uh, CBR 1000s or Kawasaki Ninja. But, but to me, you know, and I had a naked. I had a SV1650. Uh, uh, it was my first sport bike, and uh, I'm telling you, man, it just they're just unique looking, they're different looking. I think they're cool looking, and uh, like I said, I just think they're underappreciated. So uh, that, that was a good bike that I had. I like that bike. The SV650 had a Yoshimura exhaust V-twin. And uh, I think that right there really, really kind of what kick-started my love for V-twins. But uh, I don't know, just being on a motorcycle in general, man. I got my first dirt bike when I was in seventh grade, dug it out of the building, cleaned the carbs. Didn't have no kickstarter. It broke off. I had to push start it every time I rode it. Some odd years later, I'm on a Harley Street Glad, so. <laughs> that place has yet to put gravel out in that parking lot to run a car place. They, man, they just sticking their vehicles up in the mud every time it rains out there. But, a little bit of a chilly afternoon, mid, I told you wrong, it was mid, uh, I thought it was mid 60s, mid, about mid 50s, but. motorcycle shop might go uh, talk to a local audio shop too about replacing the uh, the speakers in this thing maybe put me an amp upgrade the radio so we can actually hear it might do it might not do it I don't know that's uh that's what's on my mind right now so I'm upgrading the stereo talked about um, how the scene of Prism 2 was kind of giving me a fit. It sounded like a skipping CD player. So here's a, you know, I'd take a video and it would just sound, it would just start skipping an awful lot. So here's what I found out was um, it worked fine when I put the micro SD card in the little adapter and into my wife's computer, which is a, a newer model than what I have, uh, and, it, and it worked fine. Mine would skip. All right, now yesterday, 
I use my computer, which is old now. It's using Windows Vista. Um, but uh, so don't laugh at me. I know that's, I just usually really just check email and YouTube, really. Um, but I put it on mine and uploaded the videos to YouTube and watched them through the YouTube website. They play fine. So I don't I don't know really what the, the deal is. It might be something with my drivers or whatever as far as uh, loading them onto the computer itself. But either way, we we roll it now, so we we'll keep going with it. these clouds would break up to be honest with you and give me some sunshine warm it up a little bit but it ain't too bad it feels actually pretty good and you know I talked in my first video my first kind of whatever you want to call it, moto vlog or whatever it's called you know the stuff that's going on in the world today and that's uh and it ain't, it ain't really nothing like getting on getting on your, your motorcycle. What don't matter what it is. I don't care if it's a Harley, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Honda, Sig, whatever. Man, it just it just really just clears your mind. Whatever you uh just be able to get out and ride. It really does. I don't, I don't think about anything. Uh, and I believe believe me, I've had a lot on my mind over the last last year or so. But uh, but once I get on that motorcycle, it's it's all good. So it's good, good relax. Go ahead and get around them people. They're starting to make me nervous. <laughs> Got to watch out for idiots on the road, man. Like I said, a couple other videos, um, a couple of videos I posted up one was using this scene of Prism 2 cam in my hand now, and that was with the, the internal microphone. What I'm using now is the external wired up microphone, uh, where you got the little mic mounted in the, the mouthpiece of my helmet. And uh, so I wanted to, I wanted to see how this does. Like I said, I moved the microphone in a different spot. Hopefully, it'll clean up the sound a little bit better. And, uh, and it could just be a combination of wind noise <coughs> and uh, coming up from underneath the helmet and, and also, uh, you know, me, me probably talking louder to compensate for the motorcycle. But uh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll figure something out and hopefully when I start doing more of these videos I might get, get some, uh, get a, a cleaner sound. Well, I'm going to sign off reached uh, this motorcycle shop here, reached them, I'm going to go in there and meet a buddy of mine, and I think we're going to go maybe uh, put some miles on some couple of motorcycles, so, y'all enjoy y'all's day, be safe.